Hello, this is Born from Warner.tv. <laughs> and I'm going to answer another question from Twitter. This one comes by regular Kovacs914. He was the guy who so gracefully designed that poster back there of Kim Pachi. Right, he didn't design it. He actually cleaned it up. And I used it. Blew it up. So, Kovacs wants to know, is there an easy way to relocate an iTunes library without having to re-import everything? So, Kovacs. Is there an easy way? Yeah. What I'm going to describe to you, Kovacs, is something that I did a while ago, and I'm quite sure that it's valid. I did this on iTunes 7, and uh, there is a setting within the uh, iTunes settings, and if you go to iTunes Preferences panel, I'm going to actually, I'm not going to bring it up, but if you go to iTunes Preferences panel, there is a setting called iTunes Music Folder Location. Now, here's what I did. And there's actually an article on Lifehacker. You can search Google for it as well. They give you step by step on how to do it. First, I backed up my library. So I, I copied everything over to a backup drive, to a folder. Okay, I backed it up. And I moved it all over there. I, I didn't move it. I copied it all over. Once that copy was done, it took a long time because it was a lot of data. Once that copy was done, I went into the iTunes settings. And I said, use this folder instead. And I pointed to the parent folder of where I copied everything. And now when I copied everything, I went to music. Uh, let me get it right here. Music. And this is on the Mac OS X. Uh, if you're on Windows, it may be a little different. Music, iTunes, and everything that's in that folder. Just go to music, iTunes, and then I copied that whole folder structure into another folder structure. Once I did that, because there's a file called iTunes Music Library.xml that I believe iTunes will use. Once I did that, I checked the two settings. Keep iTunes Music Folder organized and also copy files to iTunes Music Folder when adding to library. That keeps it all on the separate location. That, that makes sure that nothing gets thrown in the music or anywhere else. So if you set those two settings, copy the files first. Once you start up, excuse me, once you start up iTunes again, it'll start using that directory. That's how I did it. And it's still working today. Um, as you and I both know, iTunes does have its glitches. So sometimes it would say, I can't find the file. Would you like to find it? And then I have to tell it again where it is and it would find it again. But uh, overall it's worked. I have my whole entire iTunes library on an external drive right now. I don't have to worry about file space on my, um, on my MacBook Pro because it doesn't come with a whole lot. So uh, that's how you do it, Kovacs, and uh, let me know if that doesn't work for you. All right, this is Born from TV. This is how you can move your ex move your iTunes library to another folder without having to re-import everything through the iTunes interface. So take care.